Celtic knotwork is insanely complicated. If you've ever looked at the tiny knotwork in illuminated manuscripts like the Book of Kells or Lindisfarne Gospels, you better be impressed. And there's not a lot of scholarship on traditional knotwork either. I have a book by George Bain which studies it, but his methods are complicated and idiosyncratic. I've learned through trial and error in reading blogs. I've also tried teaching my little sister. The best method I've come up with for beginners needs graph or dot paper and markers or colored pencils. You begin with creating a grid of dots, in this example, 4x4. Four four. This is your primary grid. Then create a secondary grid inside that using the lighter color. These dots will give you a framework for making the design. Next, using this framework, make thick diagonal lines in the light color. It will look like a lattice fence. The hard part is outlining this fence pattern. Picture a real knot. The rope twists over and under itself. The same goes here. The tan band goes over the first line it hits, then under the next. Continue this over-under pattern until you have outlined the entire knot. Round off the corners and edges. It's complicated, and you will mess up a lot at first. Fill in the background, adding shading or dots or whatever decoration you would like, and you can make the design different by making the bands thicker or thinner. Get all that? Let's give it another shot. Make your primary grid. I'm doing 4x4. Four four. You can do anything you like. It doesn't even have to be square. Add the secondary grid and draw the lattice pattern with a lighter color. Outline the lattice in a repeated over-under pattern. I'm doing sharper corners on the edges of this one. Beautiful. We're going to add in a new step. Walls. The knots we've made so far have been solid squares. Walls add the twists and turns that make Celtic knotwork so fun. Here, I have a 5x5 five five primary grid. I drew a cross connecting dots on the primary grid. These are the walls. When you draw the diagonal lines for the lattice pattern, stop when you hit a wall. Now, when you outline the green lines and do the over-under pattern, the design will bounce off the walls. This means that whenever you approach a wall, the band will curve around it, just as the corners and sides of the knot are rounded off. These walls can be put between any dots on the primary grid. Experiment and see what designs you can come up with. Here, I added a dark blue background, and I also shaded the over-under pattern to add shadows and depth. I find that using markers to create the lattice pattern, the green in this example, really helps beginners to think through the way that knotwork works. If you can, try to freehand the outlines without drawing the lattice first. It will open up more design possibilities. Join me for part two in this intro tutorial for some more examples of knotwork using walls. Thank you.